This is for, for both of you. Uh, haven't played summer league, and you know you guys have, have had some time from summer league to now for training camp. What have you guys been working on with your game to build off of what you did during summer league? Um, uh, the biggest thing is uh, just getting acclimated to the style of play that they want us to play. Uh, we had a little taste of that in summer league, but it's, of course it's a lot different with now everything is kicking off. Um, uh, coming to work every day, getting strong in the weight room, uh, getting a ton of shots, getting used to the NBA floor, and just getting ready for uh, training camp and on with the season. Yeah, I would say more of the same. Just um, for me, just the quick adjust, adjustment from college to the pros. I mean, you had a little bit of that in summer league. It's different with um, more high-level guys. So just getting adjusted to that, working every day, like Stan said, in the weight room and on the court, and just getting used to the game. Mia, do you, do you, I guess what kind of strategies do you use to figure out, you, you spend some time in OTAs and realize how fast it is, how different the game is with, with NBA guys. Uh, you know, how, do you, how do you keep up and what are some of the tips and tricks you can use to, to kind of make, your, make yourself known there? Mm. Well, Andy, I, I usually um, just try to let the game come to me and um, just try to play with. If I, I try to understand who's on the court with me, if it's, a lot of high-level NBA guys that have been playing and starters and everything. I'm just doing my role and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to play the game the right way at all times. And so just try to make sure that always on defense, I give that effort and let the offense come to me wherever it should. So. Stanton, what's, the, what's been the, um, uh, the process for you to get to this point, playing multiple summer leagues with the Jazz, going overseas, yeah. um, waiting a long time to get your, your yeah. true NBA shot, and now you're here. What are your thought process as you go ahead in the training camp? Um, just continue to keep being the same person that I am and the same player that the Jazz know that I am. Uh, they've been watching me for a couple years now, and uh, they know what I can do. They know what I can't do. So uh, just coming here, be a role guy. Um, when my number's called, be ready. Uh, process it doesn't change you know I'm still learning every day um, I had a chance to play of course in Europe and learn the pro style of the game over there so hopefully I can translate what I learned over there to here and uh, continue to keep learning from uh, coach Quinn and the rest of the staff Mie, uh some including myself uh, have compared your some parts of your game at this age to maybe what Royce O'Neal was when he was uh, around the same age and and kind of some of the same obviously measurements but some of the same skills as well is he a guy or are there other guys who you've looked to on this group in terms of guys you can take example from from the type of play that you you need to bring uh yeah I think there are a lot of guys I wouldn't say I certainly play like someone but I think there are a lot of guys I could take example from like like Royce, people like Stanton too. Like Stanton's technically a rookie, but he's been around like the game. He's been a pro for many years, and you see how those guys work, and you see how far they came. Everyone, a lot of people here have had kind of like r different paths. So it's like people that didn't play Division One at first, people that play at small schools. And I, I was supposed to go to Division Three, and I went to a small school, and so I, I look up to guys that made it out, not from like the, the glamorous like first round, first overall pick, like the typical, like, I don't know, typical path. We have a lot of like really atypical paths. So a lot of guys to look up to and see how they work and try to do the same. Question on this side of the room. Stanton, how do you weigh maybe going somewhere else to overseas versus yeah. trying, to, trying to make it in the NBA and, and utilizing this opportunity here? Um, I think it was one day at a time with me. Uh, NBA was always the goal, but um, my main focus was just to get better as a player. Uh, I think Europe was a great option for me. Uh, I couldn't tell you if I was uh, 22 in the NBA. I don't know if I would have stuck around because I just mentally I wasn't there. But um, going overseas, I've gotten better mentally. Um, playing over in different countries, had to learn on my own by myself. Uh, got to play for amazing coaches while I was over there. And, uh, playing at one of the highest levels in Europe, which is the EuroLeague and Euro Cup, you know. So uh, we got guys that played in the EuroLeague that's on this team, and uh, they've done really well in the league. Uh, speaking of Joe and, and Bo, so and also uh, Royce. So I mean, those guys played over there, and you know, um, Jazz got a good eye for that. And uh, hopefully, I can follow in those guys' footsteps and make an impact. We've heard a little bit of this from the guys you mentioned, but what is it like to play in the EuroLeague and those kind of atmospheres and environments? Uh, very physical. It's a physical game. Um, I'm sh I don't know if it's as physical as the NBA, but uh, I, I think it's pretty physical. The, uh, the fans are great. 
Uh, so, you know, I, I don't think I have any problem with uh, adjusting with the physicality or whatever. But um, it was a great opportunity to play against some of those players and some ex-NBA guys and uh, guys that's the young guys that's in Europe that's going to be on the draft boards in the next few years, you know. So uh, I got a chance to compete at a high level, and it was great. You just missed playing against Sepe, right? You came <laughs> the year after. Yeah, I came the year after, yeah. So, But I got to play against a bunch of his teammates. Um, and uh, that team, uh, Fenerbahce is a strong team, and, uh, you know, it was great to play against them. Me, a what did it mean to you to get that guaranteed contract? And did, did that clear kind of some of the noise that a lot of other guys have to deal with in your mind? Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. I think that uh, you still have to prove yourself every stage that you play and everything you do. Um, I've never been someone to just be like, oh, I did this, now let me relax. I don't, I don't see anything like that. So I always try to just focus on the task I'm trying to accomplish and just keep pushing and just keep striving to be the best I can be. Mie, even though you've got that uh, that NBA guaranteed contract, Martin Schiller said he expects he's going to be seeing as much of you as he sees of Jarrell and, and and Justin. What's the what what kind of mental preparation goes into you know knowing that you're going to be spending some time with the NBA team, spending some time with the G League team, just kind of bouncing back and forth between those two situations? Um, yeah, I mean, I knew that there will be potential for that going into it, whether no matter what contract I'll be on. And um, I'm prepared for anything and just want to do whatever it is the organization wants me to and whatever can help.